Hi, this video today, I would like to show you how to change Zira workflow for the project. Assuming the current Zira workflow, we have some the status are not meaningful. So, you want to create a new workflow and then replace the current workflow by a new one. In this video, I will guide you step by step on how to do it. Okay, let's get started. This is the current Zira workflow of my project. And you see here, we have some status. For example, I have the status waiting for support is not meaningful for now. So I want to create a new workflow to replace this status. And here I have in this of using the waiting for support, I will create a new status e open. Yeah. And here we have the CNV new workflow. Yeah. And so now let me see this one. And in my project, you see here, we are using the service request fulfillment workflow for Jira's service management for the service request issue type. Yeah. And so now I will use the new workflow with the hyphen TNVS new. Okay. So before we do the update, let me open the ticket in the project. And let me open this one, open here, and then we go to the queue. And we have the list of the open ticket. So here, the issue type is service request. Let me open this one. Yeah, click on this one and click on the view workflow. Here, this is the current workflow we are using. Okay. And back to the list of the open ticket. And you see here, we have the list of open tickets in my project for the service request. Yeah. We have the waiting for support, waiting for support. Yeah. However, when we change it to the new workflow, we don't use the waiting for support anymore. It will be changed to the open. Okay. So here, back to the workflow. Yeah, and then you click on the Add Workflow. Select the Add Existing. And scroll it down here in the pop-up to find the new workflow. Here, change VS New. Select this one. Click on Next button. And then in the next step, you have to select the issue type. You want to be change this workflow. We have the service request here. Yeah. You can see the name of the current workflow we are using for this issue type. Here. Yeah. Select this one. After you select this one, it will display a warning icon over on this. Here, yeah, you see here, for a workflow to remain active in the project, it must have at least one issue type assigned to it. Here. Yeah. Okay. So that means for now, the new workflow, uh, change VS news in the inactive mode because we still not you or uh, assign it to any issue type in any project. Okay. So here, back to the assigning and then click on finish button. In order to use a new workflow for the service request, you see here, it already is assigned a new workflow with the hyphen CNVS new. Yeah. I have to click on publish button on the top. It will direct me to the another window. On this window, you see here, we have the two steps. So step one, you have to do the mapping because in the current workflow, we have the status is waiting for support. But in the new workflow, we don't have the waiting for support status anymore. So I have to select the new one.
for it. That means if any ticket with the current status is waiting for support, when I change it to the new workflow, it will automatically change the status to open. The same thing if I select another status. Yeah. For example, I select the escalated. That means after I change it to the new workflow, show on the waiting for support will be changing to the escalated. Yeah. Okay. So here, let me select back to the open and then click on associate. In the step two, it will help to migrate the current ticket to the new workflow. Depending on how many tickets, how many issues in the project show, it will take the time is longer or not. Okay. And here you can see the workflow migration already complete. You click on the acknowledge button. Yeah. So you see here, we have the message, the workflow has been updated here. That means for now, we are using the new workflow with the hyphen chienviet news for the service request. Okay, let me come back to the issue queue. We have two status waiting for support. Let me refresh this one. Yeah. So for now, it already changed the status to the open, open. Okay. Let me open this one. And okay. Open status. Click on the roll down button and then click on the view work follow. It will open another pop up. And you see here, for now, we have the open status here in the work follow. And also the new workflow has been added or outside to the type of the issue. Okay. So I hope this video will have fun for you. After you finish this video, you know how to change the current workflow to a new workflow for the project. And then in case if we have some the conflict in during the migration show, we also know how to do the mapping between the current status to a new status in the new workflow. Okay, I hope this video will have fun for you. Let me know if you have any question. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next video.